guys is going on my name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you today is June 22nd 2024 and welcome to the real GS news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert the sleeping giant warned of impending biblical war within three weeks buy food and water all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends families and loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, it's very important that people start preparing spiritually, physically, and mentally. Once again, thousands are leaving. They're leaving lab. Follow me with the code words here. Just follow me with the words here. That's why I'm showing all this here. All right. So once again, thousands are leaving. You had the ambassadors of multiple lands. They were told to get out of Dodge. Leave ASAP. I've seen videos of tanks. A lot of tanks. A lot of vehicles getting ready. The sleeping giants are sounding the alarm. The sleeping giant warned within three weeks. Things will hit the fan in the mid E. So please share the video. Prepare yourself. Uh, believe in Jesus, for Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. It's, ve it's very important that people get right with Jesus Christ in these tough times that we are living. All right, so it says here on June 20th, you have Mr. Rubio, very important person here, who is also vice chair of the Senate, sounded. The alarm. You got multiple people sounding the alarm. Multiple agency, the FB, you know what, the CI, you know who, they are sounding the alarm. Everybody's sounding the alarm. The sad part is no one is paying attention. Everybody thinks that the world is uh, perfect and Paul Lewis, he's uh, clickbait and fear mongering and blah, 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 blah. But scripture tells us. In the last days, there will be great wars and rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, nations against nations. All right, so it's very important to put on the whole armor. All right, so once again, Rubio sounding the alarm, saying that a very, very biblical war is simmering in mid E between the Holy Land and Hell's Ball, with Persia involvement on the horizon. Now, once again, Rubio has been warning of this biblical war for months since April of this year. As I have been warning about for months because of Hezbollah and the group in Persia, the warning of a very biblical war is brewing in the mid E. It says here, how will the Holy Land strike begin? Well, it says here, discussion over the past 24 to 48 hours between the sleeping giant and the Holy Land official have raised dire concerns among members of the 4-6 who believe that a Holy Land campaign against Hellsbull, beginning with a large-scale air operation over Leb and in southwest Syria, is eminent and may even take place in the next three weeks. All right, so once again, guys, these are the lands that is written in Bible prophecy. These lands has been around for thousands of years. This ain't no sleeping giants, though. Sleeping giants is, is still considered babies. You know, again, they're not even in uh, Old Testament. These lands, they've been around for thousands upon thousands of years. And when it comes to biblical war, these are the ones, not the sleeping giant. It says here already, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kuwait is calling all its citizens who are in lab to leave. To leave amid a huge event. 
that could lead to biblical war between the Holy Land and Hellsbow. According to a report by DJP, today, June 22nd. Mm. Please share the video. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the love and support, guys. So at the same time, you have senior Canadian officials are planning a major removal operation for approximately 45,000 of uh, Canadian citizens currently in lab. In addition, according to a report by the NEWS, the news, top sleeping giant officials such as Mr. Anthony and Mr. Jake, the sleeping giant national security advisor, and Brett, once again, the White House coordinator for Mid-E, pledged that in the event of a biblical war in the north with Hellsbow, the sleeping giant is ready to provide the Holy Land with all support. We are involved in every single event, everywhere, everywhere. According to the report, the promise was conveyed to the Holy Land during a series of meetings attended by those mentioned, as well as the Holy Land Minister of Strategic Affairs, along with the head of National You Know Who. All right, so very, 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 very extremely important people here, guys. All right, so, and I did talk about this yesterday, so it begins. Yep. It's time to pack up and get out of Dodge. It's time to pack up and get out of Dodge. I'm in this prediction in the Holy Land. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. We're going to see what's going on here. All right, so you have uh, fears prevailing in Holy Land are partly justified. Specifically, the Holy Land professor, I'm going to skip his name, um, stated that one-third, one-third of this region here, houses, will be, wow, poof, gone. In any biblical war against Hellsbow, while thousands of flying objects would not leave much of that region. Leave. Leave. Those in the Holy Land. We need to pray for many out there. In addition, according to a report by that news on June 21st, the land electrical grid, electrical grid is vulnerable. And a strike by Hellsbow could cause its total collapse. The statement was made by this person, um, CEO of the NOGA, which manages and oversees the Holy Land electrical system on behalf of the Holy Land Gov. Now, according to this person, we are not ready for a real biblical war. In my eyes, we live in a fantasy world. Actually, I'm not trying to start anything here. Mockers and scoffers live in a fantasy world. But this is no fantasy world. This is reality. We are in the last days. Scripture tells us. Scripture tells us there will be things to come. It says here, and he adds, if this person, very important person here, I'm going to skip his name. If this person wants to paralyze the Holy Land power grid, all he has to do is pick up the phone. And call the head of, ooh, that land, Power Grid, which is identical to the Holy Land. The good news is that we have invested a lot in protection, working with the Holy Land Electricity Company. Now, Hellsbo is, is indeed able to bring the Holy Land to its knees. According to scriptures uh, in the end times, in the last days, God God will defend the Holy Land against the enemies. So it says here, since according to a Reuters report, it has more than 150,000, look at that, 150,000 powerful flying objects. These include some very powerful stuff. I'm going to skip their name. But guys, 150,000? You know what's 150,000 of this? That means that they could make it rain fire 24-7 for a whole year non-stop. Given this person intention to even carry out a preemptive strike against the Holy Land, 
by Operation the Gala, you know what? Things get even more serious. For example, Hezbo has 5,000. Well, they got some very powerful equipments, put it like that. So I'm just going to skip all this here, guys. All right, so they do have a very, very powerful equipment. I'm just going to highlight it. In mid-developments, the Holy Land born, I'm um, going to skip his name, an advisor to the Sleeping Giant leader, 4-6, Joe, traveled to the Holy Land as well as Leb. In the Holy Land, he met with Benjamin. He also met with the leader, Isaac and other very important ones, as well as Benny. According to the news, this person warned that in the event of a biblical war with Hezbollah, Persia could launch a large-scale event, a scale of which will be even difficult to deter, considering the simultaneous strike by Hezbollah. He apparently referred to the possibility of an air defense Saturation of the Holy Land. Again, the uh, defense system, put it like that. Leb MP, I'm going to skip his name, who is affiliated with Hellsbow, said that if they want to come to Leb, they are welcome. Now, this person said hello and welcome in his language. Here, they cannot handle the situation. In a strip, and they want to come here? In a strip, they don't fight. They just B-O-M-B and send drones. But if they want to come, we are waiting for them impatiently. We have made preparation, which they don't even think about. Hmm talks about the uh, last 24, 48 hours between uh, very important people has reportedly caused some kind of a warning, warning among several members of the 4-6 administration who believe that the Holy Land campaign against Hell's Bowl, once again, possibly in the next two to three weeks. The Holy Land versus Hellsbowl. Let's see what's going on here. According according to the Holy Land radar, a new biblical war in Leb will present a number of challenges to the Holy Land. Yet, the Holy Land military has a number of advantages. Hellsbowl is the world's largest T organization. Its power surpassing even more national armies. As we mentioned above it, a uh, excuse me. As we mentioned above it has a huge uh, 150,000 as well as some naval and anti-aircraft assist. Mm. The organization can mobilize tens of thousands of fighters, including the elite Red One unit, which enjoys the top-notch training and weaponry. In addition, the fighting in lab is idiosyncratic due to the uneven terrain, which Hellsbow fighters have been familiar with since 2016 and before. Mm. Finally, the organization is certain that it will be supported by both Persia and the Bear in terms of armament and logistics but also in terms of information far beyond what is already available in the current phase. Regarding the strength of the Holy Land forces, the Holy Land radar draws some conclusion, which we do not agree. The page mentions firepower from a part of the Holy Land army, as well as combat experience from the GAZA strip. It also uh, downplays the role of the organization played in the biblical war against ISIS. With the page referring to the organization, biblical war experience eight, nine years ago against ISIS forces. According to the Holy Land radar, the organization has nothing against the Holy Land Air Force. If the specific position echoed the views of the particular page, 
fine. Otherwise, if they echo position of the Holy Land army, then the Holy Land military is ready to go into Leb again without um, taking into account the lesson learned in 2006. We're just going to find out sooner or later, guys. But the time frame is three weeks. That's what the Sleeping Giants is putting it. Three weeks. Then no matter how much the Holy Land Air Force and equipment struck the Hellsboro fighters, undoubted trapped the Holy Land um, or Kavas and hit them with Cornet uh, equipment as far as the experience of the tunnel biblical war is concerned. Maybe the Holy Land army did get an experience in GAZA strip. But again, another, I'm going to skip that name, and another house ball. It says here you have uh, Benjamin failed to involve the sleeping giant in the biblical war against Persia to the extent that he was pressured by the 4 6 not to respond to the barrage of the flying equipment by Persia on April 13th of this year. We already know what happened. Uh, um, yeah, I think it was April, right? So the sleeping giant got involved. They took out some of those dr uh, drones and stuff from Persia. Let us recall that the sleeping giant involvement in a, in a biblical war against Persia and the overthrow of the theocratic uh, group has been a crusade of um, Mr. Benjamin since 2008 when he had the well-known Hemeric uh, Crowell with the newly elected the 44th. Necessarily, and having failed to take the biblical war to Persia, Holy Land is turning to the... Give me a second here, guys. I'm going to skip that name. Give me a second here. Ultimate goal of weakening the Persian military presence on the border with the Holy Land. Despite the concerns of sleeping giant officials, it seems unlikely that Persia will directly engage and strike against the Holy Land since, as recent events have shown, Neither Persia seek biblical war with the sleeping giant, nor the sleeping giant with Persia, at least at this stage. The reason why, guys, is because everything will hit the roof. The oil prices will hit the roof. Talking about what, six, seven dollars a gallon? Just think about twenty dollars a gallon during WW3. Nobody's gonna drive their vehicle. Unless you have a Tesla. But then Tesla could be uh, a, a big one because the grid could be impacted. They're already talking about grids going down in various places. Despite the concern... Okay, we already read that part. Give me a second here, guys. If the Holy Land wishes to engage in a biblical war that would neutralize the warning of Hezbollah, the outcome of which is in doubt, then it must learn. From the non-victory, in the words of Professor, I'm gonna skip his name, of 2006, which uh, means that the greatest assist of the JEWS state, namely firepower and uh, superior training and experience from recent biblical war, can easily be annihilated again by a force that knows how to, you know what, on its own soil. And it is most worthy proxy player in Persia in the region. And that's where we are right now, guys. And it seems like they're sending another. Look at this. That's a ship. And I'm going to skip this one here, guys. This is basically the final. I'm going to share this news article on my Twitter page. But this is where we are right now, guys. The Sleeping Giants is giving three weeks. Three weeks. The Sleeping Giant warned of impending biblical war within three weeks. 
again, I'm not trying to spoof no one, but uh, scripture tells us in the last days there will be these uh, wars and rumors of wars and kingdom against kingdom, nation against nations. There will be famines, there will be pestilence, there will be earthquakes in various places. So, number one, if you're not right with Christ, now is the time. You need to confess your sins. You need to get down to your knees and, uh, you know, again, confess your sins. Say it in, in again, a private room. And um, confess your sin and, you know, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Father, I come to you as a sinner. I am lost. I have nowhere to go. I feel hopeless. I have no peace. I thought doing things on my own would be easy, but it's not, Father. And Father, I come to you. Jesus, I come to you and I open my heart to you, Jesus, and I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. And God, I thank you for John 3, 16. I thank you for Jesus Christ. And Jesus, I thank you for what you did on that cross. I need you in my life, Jesus. I need you. Make me a new person. And I do want to receive, I want to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you confess, when you confess, when you speak like that, when you confess and you open your heart to Jesus, and truly, I mean, I'm talking about spiritual stuff here, truly repent and accepting Jesus, you do receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Your name is written in the book of life. We all need Christ. Look at the world. Now, according to many people out there, and the Bible speak about mockers and scoffers, they think that everything is fine and dandy. Please don't pay attention to the mockers and scoffers. Stay far away from them. You need Jesus. We all need Jesus. And we are seeing a sign that Jesus said that it will come. And all these signs least lead to Jesus' return. I'm not saying Jesus is coming in three weeks. I'm not saying Jesus is coming today or tomorrow. For we don't know when that time comes. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour. Only the Father Again, not the angels nor the son, but only the father knows. All right. So we don't know when Jesus is coming. No one. No one. Jesus said that. <laughs> so Jesus said that. No one knows the day or hour. All right. So when you hear people making videos that they know when Jesus is coming. Lies. They've been doing that for many, many years. Many years. And guess what? Every single one of them has failed. Their prediction is not accurate. It goes to tell you, run. Run away from them. Far away. Don't ever watch their stuff ever again. Those are false teachers. Jesus speaks about these false teachers and false prophets in the, in the last days. You want to run somewhere? Run towards Jesus. Run towards Scripture, King James Version. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep you updated in these biblical wars. Please share this video for those of you that want to give a like to Christ. You can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.